Are you always wasting time looking for information and miss out some of your important tasks? In this video, I will show you a work planning and organizing system that you can apply using the Microsoft OneNote free app. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to organize and plan your work using OneNote, right? Now, the system that I'm going to show you today, you can see here, right, is called Getting Things Done. Now, this is one book that written by David Allen. You can, if you can get this book, go and read this, right? Now, I will basically simplify it and show you how do I use this getting things done method inside OneNote. All right, now, these are the five steps of getting things done, right? The first step would be capture, okay? Hold on, all right, capture, yeah now what it means capture means that you want to capture or gather all your information right you write down everything maybe your tasks or inner meetings and so on so where do you go to right first thing you will go to the inbox right you can see here every time you want to write something you just go to inbox unless you go to a meeting now Later, I'll show you step by step on all that, right? So for David Allen method, everything, it goes into the inbox. For me, I will add one for meeting. So every time I go meeting, then I'll throw all my meetings right over here. Yeah. Now, if you prefer to have the meeting inside the inbox, it's totally up to you. Yeah. So if you have a lot of meetings, then you can set another section. Yeah. Now. I'm not going to show you how to create all this section using OneNote. You want to learn more on how to create section, subsection, and all these things. Go watch this video that I created earlier. So come back to step one, which is capture, meaning that if you have any information, whether you it's important, not important, doesn't matter. You just throw it inside the inbox. So you can just add it in any information quickly, write down. Yeah. Now, if you have a tablet, you can write it. So you can just write anything down and uh, you organize it later on. Yeah. So the first step is always capture. Now, once you capture, second step is you got to clarify this. Yeah. So clarify, meaning that you want to know whether this is a task a project or information resources that you want to keep so that the next step you will be able to organize you see so you want to clarify if it's a task yeah you go into here the to do you see here right so now if you go into a task you go inside the to do where you put in all your tasks in there now some of things maybe from the inbox or from your meeting you will have the, the information related to project then you will organize it into here let's say for example you can see that i just created this right now i can copy some of the information here and create this or if this is a project i will just drag and drop into the project you see here so basically, now I like to, to start my project with PRG and then here, yeah, this is the project name, assuming this is it. Okay, then I can have all this. And uh, if it's a project, scopes and, and everything right over here. Now, of course, you can create template, right? You can organize it nicely, your project to do, your project name, blah, 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 all this stuff. Now, in my other video, I'll show you how to create templates. So I'm not going to show you how to do that template, but you can organize it into the project right over here. Now, if it's simply to do, yeah. So basically what you can do is this, you just put it into your weekly to do, or you want to have a daily to do. Okay. And uh, so usually here is a weekly to do. Now, as you all know that in my earlier video, I talk about, right? I use Microsoft to do so most of my tasks I will just put it into my Microsoft to do 
rather than in OneNote. But you want to keep it inside your OneNote, by all means, you can do that. Yeah. Now, I just want to show you quickly here. There's a template. Yeah, you can just create, let's say, for example, prioritize to-do list. Now, this is standard template by Microsoft. So you can uh, basically come here and then you can just type in all your tasks. Okay, so medium priority, yeah. Or you just want a one simple task, by all means you can do that. See, so this is how you organize it, right? Now, after that, you want to reflect. Reflect means that you get to review it. For me, is that I would just do a review once a week, like every Friday, or you can do it on the first thing in the morning on Monday, if you start work on Monday, okay? And you just want to go through your, usually your meetings or inside your inbox, what are things that you can organize it, yeah? Your meetings, is there any to do, okay? Take all the to do and put it in here or your weekly to do right over here. Now, this is a template that I created okay, for my own use, yeah? So you could put it all here, and then for me, I will transfer everything into my Microsoft to do so that it's tracked there. When you come to organize, right? Let me come here, organize. I want to take a step back here. Organize. And there's another method that I use. It's called the para method, right? The para method, okay, by Tiago Forte. It's basically separate into this one, two, three, and four folders, yeah? Now you can see here, you have P-A-R-A, -A, right? Project, Area, Resource, and Archive, right? So project means that all things related to project, I'll throw in, in here. Areas are things like that is related to your work, your responsibility, okay? So we can see an example here like areas, if you're in charge of marketing, HR, yeah, or even like the health of your workers, continuous improvement, you can set it all over here, the areas, okay? So like here, area, maybe you take care of uh, warehouse expansion, sourcing, or Kaizen, okay, purchasing. So you can put it all right over here inside the area. Now, if your area have a lot of things, you can always create a new section group. Just like here, example, right? Like archive, I can create new section group, okay? If not, just keep it simple, okay? Now, resources means that all the information that you want to keep for reference later on, I'll throw it into the resources. And then finally, archive means that the old information when you organize, yeah, the things that those are information that you no longer need, maybe like old meetings. So you're gonna drag it right over here. Yeah. So let's say example, I just have it. Uh, okay, change my drawing. Oh, things. Okay. So even no longer this, I can archive it. I just drag and drop over here. See the old, the old meetings right over here, yeah? Now, by all means, don't be worried. And if you just want to try and you want to like delete it, okay, just delete it, right? So I, in archive, you can create many section. Let's say usually we have an archive for meetings, your archive for, let's say you want to have like, archive for projects, PRO, Jack, okay? And then you can drag all your old projects into here. Yeah. Now, of course, if you want to think that you no longer need it, you want to just delete it, by all means, you can do that. So usually what we want to do, is we just keep it here archived. So in case we need it, we can always find it right over here. Now, of course, if you know how to use the tag, yeah, go watch some of the video that I created earlier to teach you how to, to tag and then able to, to search through the tag, okay? Let me show you here, where is the tag? Uh, home, 
this is the tag all right now you can create all types of tag and then you can search all your to do's your you see high priority to do's medium priority to do's that we just created yeah so you can actually search by tag name okay search by section and so on yeah this is for this notebook only now you can search by section or you can search by page or all your notebook is totally up to you it is very easy to use if you know how to tag it all right now come back to here so this is the power method where you organize it and then uh, you basically follow this uh, para method now of course you can follow any method that you want but this is what i do okay now after reflect means that you constantly review you want to take actions so most important thing is for you to engage and take action so that you can achieve the goals that you want yeah now by doing this you free up a lot of your mind or worry don't know where to find the information and so on because if you want things that are related to tasks just go to to do right but for me i'm using microsoft to do if you're interested to learn more about microsoft to do go watch this video so things that are related like projects you will just dump it right over here all your meetings you can find it right now so usually i will uh, name it in such a way that uh, you have your year month date yeah so that easy for you to search and you can actually organize sort it yeah alphabetically so if you organize by the like this right year month date then whatever meeting then you can organize it sort it by the dates yeah then to do projects and all the things that is related to your responsibility you have it in areas and resources maybe things that you learn you go to a training like you just learn one note so you can come over here and then you can put in your one note tutorial right what do you learn from the today's video so you can gtd five steps or you have a parameter you can keep it right over here inside your resources or maybe sometimes you find a good uh, video that you want to refer to so let's create a tier right uh youtube okay on certain topic getting things done right and then you can put your youtube link right over here okay i'm gonna no need to copy right so you just copy and paste your youtube link so let me copy and paste the link and show you how it works you see so the link the copy it comes into here yeah and then you can just drag yeah and in, in fact you can actually play it right over here just give it some time to load and you can see you can just play right over here this is very very useful now once you have this right okay you don't have to you just come to all these places and it's well organized yeah so i hope today's video it will helps you and uh, if you have any question do leave a comment right below.